this week's episode of The Science Inside looked at the Devani trial, something very interesting and certainly something that everybody in South Africa is talking about. Now I'm joined on the line by the Wits Radio Academy's Paul McNally to speak a little bit more about it. Thanks for chatting with us, Paul. Hey, no worries. So, like I said, Devani, it's other than Oscar Pistorius, the name on everybody's lips, especially when you hang out at the Western Cape High Court like we do. So, <laughs> yeah. won't you tell us a little bit about what you looked at this week? Yeah, you're right about that, though. It's a bit of a lull in the Oscar trials, so I think people are sort of latching on to Devani. Um, well, we were looking for a science angle on the, on the trial, and the thing that we came up to again and again was the idea of how he would have allegedly hired this hitman. So the idea of, of doing something like that, you know, illegally, um, and then getting away with it, we found quite fascinating. So we wanted to look at the idea of doing that with technology, the idea of how you would hire a hitman with technology. And the experts we spoke to, it basically turned out that this was the most efficient, um, best way that you could do something like this is by using the internet and a whole range of different technologies. But that is the most fascinating thing because surely if you know, I wanted to off someone and I could find somebody to do this for me on the internet, surely law enforcement can do the same thing. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you, there's, a, there's a whole range of different steps you go to to kind of protect your identity, which are a lot more efficient than the idea of meeting in a dark alley because someone can always see you, the idea of using money that can always be traced, so the way of using technology um, and different parts of the internet, we found that this was almost a, a foolproof way of being able to uh, hire a hitman. But as a journalist, this must have been both exhilarating and nerve-wracking. <laughs> well, the people we spoke to, they, you know, they were very uh, friendly and a bit more geeky than um, you know, sinister. But it was all very hypothetical. There was no chance of people saying that this is definitely we have killed this many people. It was all in the in the um, in the way of uh, education. Uh, there was nothing sinister about it. We didn't. It doesn't end with someone getting viciously killed. If that's sort of what you're getting. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, like you do with every episode of the Science Inside, you you speak to an expert or an industry professional about this. So, who did you chat to this week? We spoke to a few professionals. We spoke to around the um, on the tech side. We spoke to Dave O'Reilly. He's uh, he builds games for Microsoft and he's a partner for Break Design. Um, we also spoke to Kate Wilkinson. She's um, part of Africa Check, so they're a website that checks the authenticity of news. And she gave some background about the stats, the crime stats, and how they should be perceived, and sort of especially the murder ratings and how we should really look at those. Um, after that, we had a chat with um, Dr. Rafiq Lockhart. He's a psychologist, and he went into a part of the Devani trial that I think is very interesting. He sort of had a look at the idea of men, mainly men, who can't end a relationship and the kind of length they will go to um, rather than just cutting it off verbally. How else can we find out about the Wits Radio Academy and more about previous episodes of The Science Inside? Well, you can look us up on iTunes uh, as well as on SoundCloud. We're on Vitz Radio Academy. So soundcloud.com slash Vitz Radio Academy is where we are.